Welcome to the show. My name is Wes. I'm re-uploading a painting I did in November of last year of these four cows. Um, this time with my voice over. So yeah, the long, a long uh, horizontal canvas here. Um, this was a commission for some, for somebody, so it's not available, but uh, you're welcome to commission another one similar. Um, and this one I started off, uh, as you can see, it's not a stretched canvas, really. I've got it semi-stretched over some uh, temporary stretcher bars. I was waiting for the right measurement of stretcher bars to come in the mail and thought I'd get started early on it. But these are, uh, I'm painting these out kind of just systematically color by color. First I wanted all the white parts painted in that blue because of most of the whites are kind of in shade. And when you have shade, when you have the warm yellow sunlight highlights, then the shadows would be a cooler, bluer shade of white. And so I started with that blue, and then, uh, and then going back through and actually adding more of the actual color of the cows. And in my general uh, technique of the way I do things, my process, starting off with a general messiness uh, just kind of getting something down on the canvas quickly and then altering it as the painting progresses closer and closer to the to the photograph or to the idea I have in my mind this was uh, from a reference photo I'll I'll try to put it here for you to see I like how this one came out. I, I did one previously that was slightly larger, but it had these four cows, and it was done in a slightly different style, I want to say. Perhaps a little more realistic. This one I was really, <clears throat> I was really playing up the the exaggerated cow-shaped heads that they had, cow heads. I had to reposition some of these once I re-measured so it would fit a little better, so I, kind of, I think I lowered this one down a bit. So already at this stage, I I like the uh, the first cow on the left and the third cow from the left are my two favorite shaped heads, and so I'm pretty much keeping those around throughout the throughout the painting. Again, refining what I've got there into something a little closer to the to the photograph. On this one, I know I want to keep it abstracted, keep it playful, so I'm not uh, going for a realistic depiction.
my color choices are not are usually not thought out as much as one might think i i usually rely on what i'm seeing on the canvas so uh many times i'll just try a color out by putting it on the canvas and if it doesn't work i'll adjust it or paint over it with a different color So if you ever see me place a color down and then and then see me paint back over it pretty soon, then that that's what's happening there. I'm trying out a color or a shade of a color and relying on that to be my uh, color acumen, <laughs> so to speak. This little cow was my least favorite of the four. Um, I got it to a place where I was okay with, but uh, I never could quite. It kept looking like a sheep or a or a goat. I think it it was a younger cow, perhaps. I don't I don't know. That's what it looked like, like more of a calf. Though this is not so bad here, I guess. With a lot of my paintings, I I can't let go of of the ideal in my head, like the uh, what I wanted it to be. When it doesn't turn out the way it is in my head, when I see the painting again at a later date, I'll that'll uh, nag at me in my brain that that little bit that is not quite the way I I pictured it to be. Whereas, you know, the reality of the situation is probably fine, or it may be fine. I'm sure other artists experience that as well. <laughs> I don't know if that's perfectionism or, or what, but... Here I'm adding in some lines with the china marker, kind of to resemble some fencing behind them, like some barbed wire fence or something. So I wanted something in the background, something interesting, and I think that actually does it, but as you'll see soon I'll be changing it up even more, playing with the background more. Using that same china marker just to, uh, to to introduce it throughout the painting and uh, anywhere where I think it could fix some shapes or add some interesting lines. Watching the video now, this part where I'm adding the yellow to the to the background, I kind of cringe at so much yellow on the canvas. I, I don't know what it is. Maybe I have a bias against bias against yellow, but uh, it's very jarring to me. <laughs> but I do uh, uh, fix it later, like augment that color later. So maybe at the time I wasn't so keen on it either, but. Uh, it was a choice, something to try out. And sometimes you kind of have to do the whole background before you can tell if it works with the foreground cows. Like, for instance, looking at it, for me now, I mean, it does set off the cows nicely where they're pushed forward away from the background. But it's just too much, too much yellow in my mind. Now 
adding some other colors, some reds here and there to the flowers in the front foreground. This painting really was in my wheelhouse. I like painting animals and I like this kind of playful abstracted style and I like painting on large canvases so it's kind of hitting on all gears to mix metaphors. Adding a little gray to the blue so it's not so blue. I'll have to paint some more cows in the future. I'm enjoying re-watching this uh, and the painting itself. We'll see if I follow through on that or not. I like that white background there, the, the, the sun shining on the back of the cow, it worked very well. Ah yes, here's where I'm fixing that, that puke yellow <laughs> background. I, li I like this green a lot better. In reality it probably was closer to the other color in the photograph, but this green really sets off those foreground cows, you know. And then, as always, adding variation within each of the color blocks that I have on the canvas. It's always a goal of mine. I don't want any, anywhere to be too uh, boring of a place for the eye to visit. Kind of finishing up with some detail work. Uh, the painting's pretty much done. I appreciate uh, everyone watching. I hope you've enjoyed this one. I enjoyed painting it and um, like I said, I think I'll swing back around to try out some more cow paintings in the future. I do enjoy it. Uh, find my website at westforman.com or westf.com, w-e-s-s-f.com. Commission a painting if you'd like. Uh, I've got a price list on the website. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.